Hello my friends, it's Budridge, it's a new episode of Let's Linux. I know this wallpaper is a bit scary for some of you, but it's what it is. I call this <laughs> video custom menus in Rofi. And today we will create our own menus, so uh, we, we don't have to just use it for this application launching. And um, Mm, shall we start with, with creating an auto script um, menu? Or maybe we should look at this. Let's open up Sublime. Uh, and we got our i3 config here. You remember the hotkey for uh, Rofi here. We put in show flag and then run. Uh, and then our theme here. This show run, it means show that mode. I think I showed you some different modes. There's also a, a quite cool mode called, I think it's window. We might do something with this soon. Yeah, you see here, now we can uh, switch windows with, uh, with Rofi. But the, as you could see, that menu is, whoops, uh, that menu is, uh, not good for this D menu layout with one line because some objects are very long, whatever. But there are one mode that is called D menu mode, and that is what we're going to use today. So let's uh, restore this to run, save, reload. Um, we can create a new key here, or let's do this instead. Mm, let's create a new script, auto script, and let's call this auto script menu. <laughs> I know it's weird. We're creating a script with auto script, so it's called auto script, but that's what we're doing now. In this auto script menu that will display a row theme. Uh, that will use Autoscript to create Autoscript in the Autoscript, you know? Very... Uh, super smooth. Mm. We can do this. Echo. Hello. Pipe this hello to Rofi in the D menu mode. And let's see what happens. Now we get the Rofi. Now we haven't, uh, we didn't specify the theme, so we get this default theme, and then we get a menu with this echo. So this is how you who, how you create your own menu, uh, because D menu it uses standard input, and standard input is the output of the previous command of the pipe here, which is hello. It uses that input to create a menu, and the selected uh, item in the menu will be put on standard output, which means, yeah, it prints it here now. Um, if we wanted to create, yeah, let's do this, let's do this. Echo, hello. If we want to add two objects to the list, then we have to separate them by a new line. It, that's the default. There are other ways to do this, and, and this is really ugly. I don't like this uh, syntax, but it's it's just to show you easily. Because you can just make a, a new line within a string like this in Bash, and then that will, yeah, it, 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 this works. But it, it, it's ugly, and we will do it much cleaner soon. Rofi D menu. And now if I run auto script menu, it shows us this list. And if we select goodbye, it prints goodbye here. And this is important that it puts uh, the selected item on standard output, because th that means that we can put that inside a variable. So let's uh, make a variable here called selected equals then do this, you know. So now if I run auto script menu, we will get the menu, we select hello, but now it doesn't print anything, it just put it here in the uh, variable here, select selected. That's 
And we could even do this to make it clear. You selected, selected, selected like that. Now run it, we select goodbye, and then it says you selected goodbye. Um, we can customize this. Let, let's look at the menu here, really, uh, or the menu. The prompt here it says D menu colon because that's a D, it, it just uh, prints the mode as the default prompt. But we could uh, customize that by with a P flag. So we can say uh, select uh, greeting or whatever, you know, like that. Run it here now, and now we get this prompt instead. This is just, it's just a prompt. It doesn't mean anything really. Okay, 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 we're getting somewhere. What we wanted to do uh, with this menu was to create auto scripts. So we actually want an empty list here. I think we can do maybe even an, a totally empty echo here. Let's see how, how this looks. Yeah, we still get this. Maybe we can get away without echo at all. Does that work? Yeah, this is what I want. I want a, a totally empty list. Uh, and then we can do this. Uh, auto scripts. And what we want to do here now is use this select uh, yeah because now this will happen now I can write anything here coconut oil you selected coconut oil so now we we don't have to select something in the list you know it, it prints what's yeah you get it you get it and then it's easy we could just uh, Put in auto script here. And now, auto script menu. It says auto script. If I print here now, test script. Hit enter. It creates test script because we we just call auto script with with the selected value from row here. And you see, we get the test script here inside our scripts folder in our path. We can run it and test it. Really cool. And if we wanted to use our uh, B menu, oh, the, this is important. P and then the, the prompt. We cannot put any other option in between there. So theme B menu. If we run it now, we get this. And then you see, we're getting somewhere. It's really cool. Ah, but you see, now I pressed escape. I didn't select anything. Then that gets weird. Now it, uh, you can get strange errors by doing so. Now it uh, opened a new window here and stuff. So it's always good to make a check. C selected and, and this dash C, that means if this variable is empty, then exit the script. Then we don't call out the script here. So now, if we run out the script menu, we just hit escape. Nothing happens. It just exits the, the script here. Uh, but you know what would be cool would would be to um, display the scripts that we already have in a list. So if, if we select a script, then it will uh, open that. But if we enter a new name, it will create it. And th that's very easy. We just, uh, we can do this. It, it's a bit dirty, but it works. Uh, we just pipe in uh, the ls of the script folder, which is uh, oops, home slash scripts. We run it now. See, now we got our, our scripts here. If I select reloader, it opens reloader script. And uh, test, 
tester tester two. If I just enter something that's not in the list, it creates that. So now we have a, <laughs> a pretty cool uh, menu that just displays, and you see how easy it is. The it, it, it's basically one line or two lines. We could actually do this could put this instead of the variable here but I like to, to, to add add it in a variable so you can perform this check in, in case it's empty but we could put this here and just have this on, on one line okay that's uh, the first script uh, or menu I wanted to do and of course we could put this in our i3 config and make a hotkey so um, where do we have our row for now? Where should we put that? Maybe Y. And then we just enter auto script menu. Save, reload, and hit Y. And then we get our auto script menu. So now it's super fast for us to create new scripts. Uh, the next menu I want to create is uh, a, um, a menu that will display uh, all the themes available in our themes folder inside X files here. And when we select the theme, it will automatically uh, inject that using the same method that we used in the last video with the said to replace the line with, with a new theme. So what I want will do now is remove this comment here. We copy this and we create a new script. We call this theme selector. <coughs> I'm gonna paste this here. So what this uh, will do is uh, use the Z, we can see if we we have the xres to rasi here so we can copy an old Z um, and we want to replace this line with the yeah selected theme inside the x resources file so let's first create a variable called xres file with a path to our X resources. Mm, let me use that here. And we are searching for this line, but we will not include the, the gear box here, but we can just copy this whole thing. And now we actually have to make some uh, escaping, serious escaping here, but it's escaping is just backslashing in front of some special characters. It's no big deal in front of every forward slash in front of every um, in front of every quote, double quote. And we will replace it with and dots are good to escape it. It's not you really don't have to do it. And here, uh, give box here. That will be. Uh, and now we can copy our auto script menu here because it will be very similar to this instead of uh, the the we can even copy with the, uh, 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 theme selector but this time instead of uh, browsing um, our scripts folder we browse the x files slash themes folder and the prompt will be select theme and this time instead of checking if the variable is empty 
we will see if this if if the file exists so if if the user would enter like a, a name of a theme that doesn't exist then the script just exits so like this uh, we can do this i think there is a flag for not exist but th this will negate this so if dash f that means does this file exist but if you put an exclamation mark then then uh, it negates the question so if this doesn't exist then exit and this is of course the folder and selected is what we choose from the rofi menu here and then uh, if the file exists we replace it inside the xres file here so yeah let's see if this works hmm. I think there are some quoting problems here yeah there theme selector now we get a list of themes here if i select group solarize dark let's see if it worked yeah here include solarize dark we run it again theme selector i select groove box this time and it replaces it with groove box isn't it beautiful and all we need to do now is put reloader here and then it will reload everything so theme selector solarized dark and we get solarized theme selector gear box and we get gear box and of course we can put this also in our i3 config as a hot key binding t theme selector I hit it. Pretty cool, huh? There, that's a little video about how to create custom uh, menus in Rofi. In the next video, we will use a script. Uh, I found a guy on GitHub who have made a script that uh, display uh, Rofi, uh, a Rofi menu with uh, all available font awesome icons. So we can easily get uh, icons to use in our polybar here, for example, and you can use it in other places too. And then we will f finally uh, make this uh, polybar more beautiful and, and, and usable. So I say thank you for watching. And also I should mention that in, in that video we will go further into advanced uh, Rofi configuration because you can actually... Um, you can have separate colors for for different va values and even yeah it, it will it's cool it's really cool and we will get a even more beautiful setup so i hope i see you in the next video thank you so much for watching let's linux i'm bud rich hit subscribe hit hit like get the files on github see you in the next video bye sorry for the scary wallpaper <laughs>